Hello everyone, this is KJ. Welcome back to Planet Crafter. We have the volcano update today, but it's more than that. It's definitely more than that. And we are perfectly located for it. Uh, so I put in a couple more uh, pressure drills and I launched a couple more rockets. I won't lie, it was more than like five, five more rockets. At any rate, now we have pressure at two million. Uh, and so we're, we've got three points to go, uh, three point, uh, 23, 3.23 points to go to get our ore extractors. And, um, the, uh, what was the thing that came up that I was so super duper excited about? Uh, mutagen T3. Uh, we have, uh, just a 28 to go for circuit boards and uh 53 to go for pulsar quartz and uh that's where we stand in this game now those things have to go <laughs> as, soon as, as soon as i have pulsar quartz those things have to go <laughs> because they are ginormous i could move them but you know uh so it wouldn't be too much to move them we could do that today uh on planet crafter we're going to look at the update and uh but i wanted to get you up to date on this situation so that's three of them did i'm pretty sure that i put in a couple more let's go look at the uh the cheat sheet for that as, soon as i learned my way around this base again i was on another save earlier we need to get some power going too uh, yeah, we've got three of those T, uh, T5 uh, drills, and uh, we're just waiting for the ability now to, um, uh, to, to drill for any, or to extract anything that we want, and, uh, and everything else seems normal. <laughs> seems is one thing reality is another you can't even see it from well you can see an arch but that's about it so we're gonna jump into a couple of other things and then we'll be back here to look at the biomes so uh, let's uh, go ahead and hit save and exit and um, oops I didn't mean to click on options all right so new game we now have uh, new game modes. We have creative, which is let you build without limits. I'm not sure if you can get Terra tokens that way. I, I don't. I don't think so, because in custom, you can't. <laughs> you have to actually. You have to actually send off those rockets, and I'll show you what I mean in just a minute here. So here's your new uh, custom uh, save settings. You can uh, decide to have a free build or all of your recipes unlocked, uh, auto crafters unlocked, drones. You can individualize these things, ore extractors, space trading, uh, or everything. And if you want everything unlocked, seriously, you just do creative. Um, uh, so yeah, teleporters randomize the ores. This is very interesting. They say on here, ores of the planet will be randomized. This will drastically change the gameplay experience. And I can attest to that. If you moved all of the ores into different places, first you'd have to find them again. And even, you know, with hundreds of hours in game, if they're randomized, you still have to go figure out which ones are which or like wait for a rocket. <laughs> I'm not gonna wait for a rocket. I don't think you can even get to the rockets before without gathering some ores. You can uh, change your terraformation pace, which I thought was really interesting. I did not do that uh, for the creative save that I set up. Um, and I could have, you can change it up to almost, or to two, so it would go two times faster. Custom game settings can alter your game's experience and produce unexpected results comes up when you change uh, terraformation index. Power consumption is another one. Meteor events, I mean, uh, increasing the number of meteors is exactly what we needed to do at the beginning of this season. 
because we were just not getting enough stuff falling from the sky and I think we went like five or six episodes without getting anything falling out of the sky at all so uh, dying consequences you can now do perma death deletion of save of of save file completely um, you there was a hardcore uh, before it says that your save file is completely deleted but I think that I saw several people just go back in and reload that save and um, that may have been an issue for them and the landing site is always standard waterfall meteor crater um, uh, Grand Rift, the Sand Falls, or a random location, and uh, random location is um, a lot more interesting, I think, unless you have like a specific plan um, for a save. All right, so let's load uh, Creative One, and we'll take a look at some of the stuff in there. We're standing on the shore of a lake. <laughs> All right, let's turn around. It took one hour to get here. I'm at 405.9, well, I'm at 406 GTI and rising fast, but it took an hour to do this. And a lot of that time was creating pulsar quartz by hand uh, and launching them in the rockets and they're on their way, but I'm at 13,000 uh, Terra tokens now, something that you have to actually do. Um, I don't have enough Terra tokens to buy the right kind of um, uh, fuses for this. So I found a couple of production fuses and I bought an energy uh, multiplier. So we need production to be a whole lot closer. Uh, it would need to be right like around this thing. This is the big one and its perimeter is 75 meters so it goes pretty far. You know, maybe uh, whatever it is, 35 meters, 37 and a half meters on each side. The uh, first one that we had was uh, this one here. And uh, its perimeter is 60 meters, but I think that's changed uh, since then. Right now, I just created something in creative mode and deleted it. And my inventory is still empty, so you don't have to deal with stuff piling up uh, like you do in a lot of games uh, in creative mode so uh, these are great um, the we'll take this away we don't really need to take the power one out but we'll take that away and uh, you know what I can just do it right here and we'll drop down a, um, a little uh, electric power thing and uh, right now it says we have 5,277 power left. Um, we're using all of this power. I have absolutely no idea if it's even necessary <laughs> to have power for all of this, uh, but I did it anyway because I wanted to use uh, this new device that we have. And so I'm gonna go back over here to about the middle of my nuclear fusion, and I'm gonna drop that thing back in and we'll put in the power cell and you see the the green you can see which ones are lit it's not very many of them it says 75 meters but it only does a few of these so it says eight machines so if those eight machines are within 75 meters then that's great uh, I don't know um, if production can reach um, all the way up there it should because it says 75 meters but I don't see it happening so we'll take that out all right let's go over here and look at power now we have 11,067 so that doubled the power uh, or how whatever it is it did stuff to eight of those machines and we have uh, 17 of them <laughs> 17 I, you know I'm I'm Creative mode just makes me a dangerous person. <laughs> All right, let's go look at the next thing. So uh, yeah, I I was thinking creative mode 
would make the machines creative, but it doesn't. The machines still have to follow all the rules. And so when you come in here, uh, where did I put the thing? Oh, I took it away because it didn't work. Um, let's quickly auto crafter. <laughs> you come in, in here um, with an auto crafter and you can see I can reach this locker storage. I can reach the auto crafter and I can reach two of the space trading rockets. There's a couple of things in there. Um, however, um, it doesn't have the stuff that it needs to do the thing. So auto crafters in creative mode mean that you have to actually have all the machines going. And uh, that would mean uh, several T3 drills right around the auto crafter there. Uh, but totally not necessary. Uh, we don't have a rocket right now, do we? Um, nope. Alright. Oops. Oh, well, here comes one now. Which one is it? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it's this one right here. Come on down. You're the next contestant on things I need to look at right now. <laughs> you see, I've got some mushroom trees over there. And I put up those uh, biodomes uh, to get the oxygen right away without having to, you know, fool around with flowers and stuff. Oh boy. Oh, there we go. I was wrong about which one it was. All right, so um, come down here. <clears throat> Excuse me. So sorry. Come down here and we have production multiplier fuse. They're 5,000 each. And we have the energy multiplier fuse. They are also, uh, uh, are there 6,000 each? I think we can get a couple of those. Uh, but I'm not going to bother with it because it just, uh, I think it just increases the number of machines within the 75 meter area that the uh, thing can cover. So we're rolling in the dough now. <laughs> After I realized that I had to um, buy stuff with Terra tokens, I put in a whole bunch more <laughs> trade rockets. All right, let's do some teleportaling. Just gonna keep making money here. Uh, so, uh, if you want to craft uh, anything in creative like this, uh, you just go into the instruction part, and there it is. You just click on it, just like that. Um, that's the new fish. There's a Felkia. You just go in there. It is. And golden butterfly. I already did that one, didn't I? Yeah. And now I gotta build machines. Um, trees, you just click on them, same thing, and you can see it uh, creating itself there. And what did I do with the. Um... Oh, that's the empty room. There it is. This is all the junk. <laughs> uh, again, auto crafters don't work unless they've got something to craft and I don't see anything there. So you have to use the actual original machines uh, to do things like that, including this one. Don't forget your uh, mining speed and this uh, brand new uh, microchip map. Now, I don't think I made that. I don't remember doing it. Oh, I did make it. Okay, I didn't have to go get basalt for, or uh, obsidian for that. Uh, I just made it. And so what that means is that no matter where I am, as long as I have the GPS satellite above my head, I can hit the letter M and there we go. There is our map. And you can see we're right here. Here is the waterfall. Here is the lava biome, but that's not all. We also have a beach biome, which is super cool. All right, now, where did I put the teleporto? There it is. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we have uh, the waterfall, the beach. Okay, I don't know why I have two that say waterfall. I live at the waterfall. Anyway, uh, let's go to the beach. All right, here we go. As you can see, there's a golden crate right there. I did not pick it up yet. 
we have on this save an effigy that you cannot currently get unless you find it because there is a golden chest missing <laughs> some rocks were moved <laughs> uh, what do we have here uh, I've forgotten uh, oh there it is uh, the amido eggs that's pretty cool and let's go um, not on this save I, I, there's the effigy for the um, the new uh, crate let's go ahead and take that and uh, open that and right click there we go oops there's the golden fuse <laughs> you can't see it because of the <laughs> because of course it's dark why wouldn't it be we kind of need to wait for the sun to come up to go to the volcano um, let's go home and we'll save oh I got a message and we'll exit and we'll go back into our playthrough I'd still like to be able to name saves all right so I probably missed a lot of stuff there I'm I'm guessing that I will have missed a lot of things there um, because I didn't read the notes I'm these are just things that I'm observing uh, as time goes by <laughs> All right, the rockets are home. We need to go take care of that. And I think, oh yeah, this is not creative. That's the problem with bouncing back and forth between creative and regular mode. Uh, no, they're over here. I do have enough. I have enough for one teleporter. The question is, can I make all of that? I need a super alloy rod. I think I have one. Uh, super alloy rod. I have four of them. Fantastico. Uh, where was I? Oh yeah, teleporter toe. Oh, there was one in there, of course. Of course there was one in there. All right, you guys, let's go drop a teleporter in the volcano zone. Uh, you can go at this uh, whichever way you choose. We'll stop by and take care of the rockets. Um, I did buy the new uh the t2 locker storage we had enough cash for that and then uh we need to uh wait a bit and uh oh i don't think we're gonna be able to launch this thing i must have started ignoring it i'm waiting for the sun to come up because it's really really dark over in the volcano biome that looks groovy Our little jungle oasis <laughs> I have played green hell on the channel you can check that out <laughs> oh come now you must be done all those bees have been holding it all this time they were like yeah we got honey we've got honey there we go <laughs> still no sunshine Jeez, and it's just getting darker all right so on this save we have the effigy uh, from the gold chest that uh, is over here um, by the waterfall and I don't know if it's an oversight or if it's an issue or if they've actually put the gold chest in another place or what uh, happened but uh, you can see there's a rock here. There's no ledge. And unless I missed it, I don't think Lee would have missed it though. I'm sure he looked all over for it. Uh, it's not there. Like the, the ledge that overhang, the gold chest was underneath that. And uh, check on your own saves. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that that has uh, been moved. Oh, hello. All right. Here we go. This groovy island might be a good place to build. 
How come my volcanoes aren't turned on? Aha! <laughs> There is our first view. I fell through the rock, by the way. You see a ship over there? Sometimes that planet is red and it looks even more amazing. So this place is actually pretty big and I haven't been all the way through it, but I will warn you that stuff right there that looks like lava is hot. <laughs> It will kill you <laughs> if you fall in it. So don't fall in it. Uh, somewhere, this is not it. Uh, I mean, that might be it, but I don't think it is. There's a gold chest over here. I haven't laid eyes on it yet. But I know it's here. It's somewhere. So don't go through the arch. You have to sidle down the wall, and I'm a little bit afraid to. Yeah, this isn't the location. <laughs> Do be careful. <laughs> Sidling down the wall, but it's it's in an overhang like that somewhere. All right, let's see if we can find some obsidian. Uh, you can put an extractor on the obsidian, but uh, there are places where it doesn't work. Um, where the power doesn't reach at all. And uh, one of those places uh, is over right next to the ship. Excuse me. <clears throat> oh boy. All right, there's the other arch. Look at the huge, uh, this is obsidian, this huge thing. And here's some around it on the ground. Uh, now there is uh, water out here. There's a um, there's a frog pond out here. I don't want to get too much of that because we can mine for it. Uh, how much is that? Eight. Eight is an even number. That sounds good. I probably need ten of them. Uh, let's see. That is not an arch. That is an arch. Did I go to that arch? I don't remember now. Oh, I knew that was the wrong way to go. <laughs> All right, there is the black and white area and there is the wasteland. And so if you come in from the wasteland side, here's the, uh, the bunker in the wasteland. We were just here a couple of episodes back. Can't see anything from there. We will go around You can see the back side. The back side of the, I didn't realize this, but the wasteland kind of stretches a little bit in here. That's pretty cool. And there is the desert, the edge of the map. And there is an edge of the map. <laughs> if we look on our map, uh, did I not install it? Oh, I didn't take home the uh, stuff for it yet. It's in my pocket. Can I climb this or am I just going to go right through it? Oh, there we go. There is a pond. So we get some water. I didn't bring any food, though. I did bring a teleporter, so it's not a big deal. All right. Here is the big ship. And it's got some really, really cool new stuff in it. New assets. Um... And uh, I will leave that for you to explore. We'll not, we're not going to go in this ship until like uh, next week, probably. So yeah, I tried to put um, an extractor right here. Or yeah, an extractor right here for the obsidian. And it, was, it didn't have power. I put a nuclear power fusion thing right next to it. And it still didn't have power. But there's the entrance right there. And it could just, it's massive. It's absolutely unreal how big this is. Uh, you can also build on the lava. Let's see if I can swoop down here and 
get some... I only need a piece of iron, for goodness sake. Oh, hello. <laughs> Just dropping in to say hello. God, iron looks cool in this environment. Alright, so let's find the lava lake. There we go. Go to shore right there. Oh, and there's also iridium here. Of course, a T3 drill uh, can drill anything anywhere, so it doesn't matter. But uh, you have to be just above it. Just like that. You can also put buildings up above it. Uh, sink down into it. Not yet. But I, I believe you can get down there. Alright. Uh, where's the ship? I want to be close to the ship with this teleporter. Alright. Aww. <laughs> you know what that means. Uh, how much does that take? Oh! There's only 276 power for that. Alright. Let's go home. There's a lot of stuff to do in here. And, oh, by the way, here's also a bunker. So, uh, I forgot about this. We'll put that right there so I can find it. I can't see that any better. But, uh, yeah, here's a bunker. We'll get to that. I want you guys to have time uh, to enjoy those things before I uh, take you into all of the secret places and do all of the stuffs. <laughs> Up. Oh, up. Up. <laughs> we have that problem. We've had the update for a few hours and I'm like already saying, I always. <laughs> There's a thing that we need to happen. We need a pulsar court storm. It would be super appreciative. Uh, so 138 GTI. We need to bring that up a bit. And um, I'm not quite sure if it's just time. Maybe I'll just give it time. You know, I don't know what to do about it. Uh, where was the other one? Oh, I think I already went and got the pulsar quartz from the other, uh, the, ups the other obsidian cave. And we've looked here through here pretty good. It's just as well that I couldn't build that teleporter. I don't have the pulsar cords for it. Uh, we need power first. And uh, I already made the fusion cell for the drones. We don't have the power to run the drones. But I already made the fusion cell for that so that we don't have to waste a lot of time um, with me going back and forth between lockers. <laughs> And more insane things. Oh boy. Uh, one more. Let's go ahead and hit enabled and see here. Um, 7100. We need 6000 for that. But I'm not sure if I can build that. Oh yeah, I can build that. That might be less expensive than using pulsar quartz for power. All right, let's let's get an energy multiplier. As it happens, suit lady, I'm standing right next to food production. You can just calm down. So we'll buy an energy multiplier and don't launch the trade rocket. Just go get food for it. <laughs> there we go. Bye bye. Safe launch this time. I did hit a tree, by the way. <laughs> okay, let's put this away. Here we go. We will um, plunk down one of those things since I can apparently make it two explosives and, an, and a uranium rod. So we'll go ahead and plunk that down and amplify our power. 
which is just like, uh, where's the stuff at? Okay. Nope. We're overflowing because I gathered things, uh, ahead of the video here. Alrighty. Here we go. Let's go amplify our power. I wonder if I have enough power to run the power amplifier. That seems kind of silly, doesn't it? Because it's going to amplify the power as soon as I turn on the power. All right. Whatever. We'll see. Where's my nuclear power at? There it is. Okay. We'll put it right there. And then when we get a production one, maybe it'll help those drills. I don't know if it will or not. Um. Oh, we got to wait for the thing. God, I've been done <laughs> gotta wait for the rocket to come back so that'll be next time we'll get the rocket back <laughs> I'm just confused between saves it's crazy there are uh, fusion uh, there are fuses rather in that ship and in crates around and about and uh, so if you uh, need them and you can't afford them with a trade rocket then you can go dig them out uh, I need I need a holding locker is what I need. There we go. What does it take to make the uh, good one? Oh, a circuit board. Okay. I'd rather do that than use my iron. Let's go find the circuit boards. We'll get one thing done. <laughs> Sulfur, water, zeolite, osmium, rockets, circuits. There we go. All right. Because this will fit right here. It should have fit right there. Oh my goodness. You have a fat little body. Why can't that go back further? All right. We'll just dump everything in there for now. I need to move this thing into its own room anyway. And lastly, we are almost 7% into uh, Froggos. We can uh, build a fish farm. I'm not sure if it's... Uh, well, we can't build a fish farm, but we can make fish. Uh, I'm not sure if it's such a huge, hugely good idea to start putting in fish. We haven't really put in the butterflies yet. Um, yeah, we'll be able to make the regular eggs next. That's in three. The uh, big butterfly things, that's a long way away. Because the insects aren't doing so well. And uh, finally, we are at 12.11, just like the next, very beginning of the next episode, we will finally have the T3 ore extractor, and hopefully I'll have enough rods uh, to build it. <laughs> All right, you guys. Oh, man, these, these, uh, that biome is absolutely, that beach biome is, is so promising. Like, uh, I wasn't able to get underwater in the ocean. Uh, I don't know if you can, but you can put fish out there. And if you have uh, the, the amphibious life collector, definitely put one water life collector. Definitely put one out there on the beach because there's a, there's a new fish in town. <laughs> so I want to thank you all so, so very much for coming along. I do hope that you have a lovely evening. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.